How's it going everyone? So in this video we are continuing our HTB Academy module intro to network traffic analysis um, and we are in the Wireshark section so we're going to tackle uh, the first set of questions which is analysis with Wireshark. A uh, nice thing is you don't need a separate environment to run anything all the answers are provided here on this web page. Um, so let's go ahead and jump right in. So the first question it says true or false. Wireshark can run on both Windows and Linux. Answer is true, and you're going to find that answer at the very top. So under requirements for use, and um, it's referring to um, Wireshark. Um, so to use Wireshark, you can use Windows, and here is the list of the requirements. And then here you have Linux as well. And so it says Wireshark runs on most Unix and Unix-like platforms, including Linux. So the answer is true. Um, it can run on both Windows and Linux. And then the second question, uh, it says, which pane allows the user to see a summary of each packet grabbed during the capture? Um, so this is referring to a Wireshark capture. Um, so let's go ahead and scroll to the top. And um, <clears throat> here we look through the graphical, uh, graphical user interface of Wireshark. And you can see there's three panes. We have an orange pane, a light blue pa uh, pane, and then we have a green pane. And so they give uh, the details of each pane here. Um, so the question wants, okay, what pane shows us a summary of the packets? And the answer is orange. And you can see it says in this window, we see a summary line of each packet. So the answer is going to be a packet list so if we scroll back to the top, I'm sorry for all the scrolling, um, the orange pane refers to a uh, packet list there. So uh, answer is packet list. And now it says which pane provides you insight into the traffic you captured and displays it in both ASCII 2 and hex. So um, we have to go back to the panes one more time. Um, and so it says displays in both ASCII 2 and hex. All right, so let's go back up to those panes. All right, do 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 do. Okay, so if we look at packet details blue, no. And then it says, okay, packet bytes. It says the packet bytes window allows us to look at the packet contents in ASCII or hex output. I say ASCII too, but I think it's ASCII. Um, and so the answer is going to be packet bytes. All right, next question. What switch is used with T-Shark to list possible interfaces to capture on? Um, so you can go to the cheat sheet here. And if you go under T-Shark, um, we can see here interfaces will display any interfaces available to capture from. And it's capital D. So the answer is dash D. Uh, which switch allows us to apply filters in T-Shark? Answer is dash F. Um, so it is in the cheat sheet, um, and I can show you here. So uh, you can see F, it says packet filter in lib pcap syntax used during capture. Um, so it's dash F, but you can get a better explanation if you scroll, I think, midway in here. Um, I think it was towards the top. Okay, here we go. Um, so applying filters. Um, you can see it says dash F allows us to apply filters to the capture. Um, so um, dash F is the answer there. And then the last question, um, is a capture filter applied before the capture starts or after? Um, so the answer is before. And you can look at that answer up here. So capture filter, uh, capture filters are entered before the capture is started. So answer is before. So that's it guys, um, not too bad. Um, so I hope you guys found this video helpful and useful. If you did, uh, please like and subscribe and we'll talk to you guys later.